Here's a conservation of, of momentum problem that's sort of phrased as follows. You have three railroad cars here, with, which all have the same mass, which are all tied together. So three of them tied together here, and they're moving with some speed V2. And what happens is there's another car, railroad car, with identical mass over here, moving at speed V1, which is a little bit faster than V2. So what we're going to expect first to happen is that this car right here is going to collide with these three. And then what will happen is after the collision happens, the group of four of them is going to continue to move this way and collide with a fifth railroad car, which is sitting here at rest. And so what the problem wants to ask here, what ask is what is, say, the final velocity or the V-final of all five cars? So in other words, after all the collisions have happened and all five cars are all stuck together, what final speed are they going to have after they sort of move out of the collision? That's what this problem is asking for here. So the way you do this straight up is it's a conservation momentum problem. This is a horizontally oriented problem here. So really what you want to focus on here is Px initial is equal to Px final. So the momentum, the initial momentum on the x-axis is equal to the final momentum along the x-axis. And we're going to apply that a couple of times then to figure out what speed all five cars can move out of the collision. So the first thing that we're going to do here is maybe get a bit organized here. Let's maybe call this car 1 with a V1 right, right here. We'll call this group here because they never get deattached from each other, sort of group 2 right here. And we'll call this last car group 3 right here. So the first thing that happens here is I'll sort of draw the rotation this way is car 1 is going to collide with the group of cars 2. And you can do conservation momentum on a system like that as follows here. You know that car 1 is moving, so it has momentum M1, V1. And you also know that all of these cars are moving right here as well as a group. And so we'll call that something like M2, V2. And when all that's done, after the collision ends, those are the only thing, two things moving before the collision happens. So this car is moving and this group of cars is moving. So there's their total momentum before the collision. And when all that's done, their final momentum will be the sum of their masses because they are now stuck together times, let's just call it uh, V21, something like that, like the velocity of the group of the cars as they move out of the collision, something like that. So we'll have that going in there. And now a couple of things that the, the problem sort of states are that the masses of all these cars are identical. That means that we, could, we don't really have to focus on these subscripts as much here. In particular, if one of the cars has a mass M1, let's just call that M now, so MV1 plus. And M2 here is the group of cars made out of three masses, so that'll actually be a 3M total times V2. And when they're all stuck together, it's four cars stuck together, so sort of be like a 4M times a V21. Again, V21 is the velocity of the group of cars which is labeled 2, and the one car that hit it, which is labeled 1, all stuck together. So this is sort of the, the speed here of four cars after, after collision number 1 has happened there. That's sort of what that would be. Okay, what's next then for us in the problem? Well, what happens next then is that all of these cars here continue to slide. The four cars that are stuck together, this one will be stuck on these, are going to continue to go that way. They're eventually going to hit this car over here. So what you can do then is set up another conservation of momentum, sort of step two of the problem, if you will, here. You can say the following here. You can say the, uh, the group of cars, the group of one, one, two cars, so the group of car one and the group two all stuck together here, are now going to collide with car number three. And what is their final outgoing speed going to be? Well, it's going to be another conservation of momentum once again for that. In particular, the total momentum of the outgoing group after the first collision is actually this term right here. So you can say something like 4m times v21. This is the momentum of all four of those cars stuck together after the very first collision. All that's going to go into the collision of all five cars now. So all five cars are going to have a mass 5m. Because how many cars are stuck together now? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And of course the outgoing speed will be this v here. We'll call it v final. And this is exactly the speed that we're looking for in the problem. That was the v final that we're looking for in the problem in the first place there. Okay, so we can just do a little bit of algebra here and simplify a little bit. We can say that V final is equal to something that looks like the M's are going to cancel out, and we can say it's going to be something like 4 fifths times V21. So the final speed of all five cars stuck together is going to be 4 fifths of the speed the four cars had after the first collision. But we know what that is right now. We can solve for an equation like this one right here. We know what V21 is from this preliminary equation that we worked on up here. If we simplify this down a little bit here, we'd see it's going to be something like um, V21 is equal to something like 
v1 plus 3v2 all over 4. So you can put a big circle around that, and all I did was a little bit of algebra on this preliminary result. Where did all that come from? Well, if I look at this equation up here, all the m's cancel out once again because all the cars have the same mass. And then I just solve for v21, and when the masses cancel, I'll have a v1 plus a 3v2 all over 4. And that's what v21 is equal to. Why do I want to know that? Because this v21, again, is that velocity of car 1 and the three initial cars all stuck together. And you can plug that into there to finally nail down your final answer. So the final speed of all five cars that are stuck together, the four-fifths is still going to be there, obviously. And then you're just going to multiply that by the quantity V1 plus 3 V2, all that over 4. So I'll just sort of stop the problem there. You can simplify that. Yes, it looks like the force cancel. You know the speed of the ingoing car from the, the ingoing single car. That's the way the problem is stated. So V1, of course, is the speed of this car before the collision. That's that quantity right there. V2 is the speed of the three cars before the collision there. You know what that is, V2 right there. And so the four-fifths and the four and stuff all combine then to give the final V of all five of these cars stuck together when they move out of the collision. So this speed here is what it'd look like when you have one, two, three, four, and all five cars are all stuck together now after all the collisions. And then these things as a group are going to move out of the collision with that speed V final. There's expression for what it'll be.